you have no idea what happened i have just been filming i think for an hour i filmed two videos started with another one and then it turned out that in my background i have on the heater some inappropriate laundry so i'm filming again anyway i really feel bad because this was the first impressions i am today uh, replying to your requests uh, when I asked you to vote on which fragrance you'd like to go first in my other video Vincent sent me lots of samples and believe it or not with the vote we have a tie between three fragrances They are Christian Dior Oud Ispahan We have Tom Ford Plum Japonaise and we have Angelique Noir by Guerlain Of course I decided to go with the flow and start chronologically by the time or by the fragrance that was first released which was uh, Guerlain Angelique Noir and I was doing a first impressions but you know what I stumbled a bit uh, because uh, this fragrance reminded me of something I couldn't remember but now it just came to me you know when you ignore it it comes to you so some information about this fragrance it was released in 2005 the perfumer behind this fragrance was Daniela Andrier which is, I think, the in-house perfumer for Prada. She made loads of perfumes for the house of Prada and loads of them are so good. And this fragrance is based on the note of Angelica, which is uh, like a green type of plant with some flowers. Unfortunately, I'm not familiar with the way this uh, particular plant smells in nature because I haven't smelt it. But I would assume it is a bit sweet, uh, tangy, lemony and green. So yeah, I sprayed a bit here on my wrist. Now it started to dry down, but I'm going to... Uh, oh my God, I don't want to waste it. Okay, again, so that I give you the whole impression. It really starts sweet and green fruity and you definitely have some vanilla this fragrance is unisex so it is supposed to work well for men and women uh, i'm not sure i'd have to say that this is more feminine to me especially that now i remember what this fragrance reminds me of but before we go down this road i'm going to like just refer to the notes because i think it has a bit of a pear some fruity notes, vanilla and angelica. Yes, it mentions that this fragrance opens with angelica, uh, red currant, I think, pear. The heart is a floral, it has some jasmine and caraway, but to be honest, I still smell lots of sweetness. Uh, something that is more sweet than jasmine, it is not as bright, but at the same time, it has the color green in it. You smell something sweet that has been freshly cut so mm, god i love it i would have to say this is a love for me and you'd understand that uh, really fragrances are a matter of taste because i'm going to review another fragrance by tom ford after this uh video i'm going to say a lot about it so yeah stay tuned uh the dry down of angelique noir is going to be woody vanilla i think Within half an hour, the fragrance starts to dry down, but it continues like that. Of course, because this is the first impression, I cannot comment or say how long this fragrance is going to stay on your skin before you need to reapply. But the projection is good. And I think, man, this is more feminine, really. If I smelt it on a gentleman... It is a bit too feminine, especially that it reminds me of this fragrance, which is so tacky, but I love it so much. This is Vera Wang Princess Night. You remember this fragrance? I mentioned it in many of my videos. It is also a floral sweet. It has jasmine and other notes. The bottle looks like that. Holding it is a pain because it's very scratchy. It's seriously very similar to Angelique Noir and I have just been thinking what does this fragrance remind me 
off and it just suddenly came to me that it really smells similar probably Angelique Noir is of a better quality it is a tiny bit greener less sickly sweet doesn't have these gourmand notes like chocolate and things like that but there is similarity for sure so do I love this fragrance I think I do and I would wear it myself so yeah and um, so many people comment on my channel saying that what do other women think about this fragrance uh, around you so when I am saying that this fragrance is a bit more feminine than masculine then my girlfriends are going to smell it on me as well and they are not going to be able to comment with whether this fragrance smells good on a man or not and regardless of that i do not have any girlfriends here in the city where i live so sorry for that and my family are back in syria so i cannot help you with that it is your task to get a sample of this fragrance spray it on yourself and let the ladies around you at work or your family your sister your girlfriend your wife tell you what they think about it whether they would prefer to wear it themselves whether they think it is good for for men or not for me there is no masculinity in this fragrance whatsoever probably more than creed silver mountain water which is also unisex this is even more feminine but i love it a great fragrance i hope you enjoyed spending time with me and that you are looking forward to my next reviews please stay tuned and i'll speak to you very soon as usual please be safe bye guys